<laughs> I've got some more research done on pencils and just first of all I want to just revisit something which I showed recently in this book which is pencil art which costs what two thousand pounds each season I think um, and the term they use here, that they say mentioned at the top, I think, is graphite art. I thought, hang on a sec, graphite art? This is not, they don't call it pencil art, which is what I would call it. It's called graphite art. I suddenly realised, of course, I have some examples of graphite art. Well, here they are. They're quite expensive, but they're not £2,000. They're about $50, I think. This is all made of graphite. It's a hand. Let me just show it close up to see if you can get the detail of it. Beautiful. So there's that which came in a box. It's, it's a company in San Francisco makes them, and I couldn't resist a second one, which is a pair of feet, all both made out of graphite too. A pair of feet with ankles. Beautifully made, and they do work. Let me just try one on a bit of paper to show they work. I haven't got the. I meant to bring a razor with me, but if I have a go at, at writing this, we should be able to make hello or something. Shall we? Hello, H A L L. Oh, uh, there we are. Boom. That reads it. And I should be able to rub that out because it is graphite and not pencil. Interesting, isn't it? And then I had one more speculation, well, two more speculations. One was when I revisited this stuff in here, which was my favourite one of these pencils. If I won the lottery, which would be difficult for me to do because I don't do the lottery, but I, if I won some money, which of these would you actually choose to have? And I realise this one here is probably the most interesting and innovative, in, in, innovative because he's carving not just the, uh, the, the pencil lead, the graphite, but the wood as well to make the handles. So that's the one I'd go for, I think. And the final thought on this is, if you take a pencil and turn it um, inside out, have you ever thought of doing that? Well, I started thinking about it. You take a bit of graphite, so that, that came from a block of graphite originally, but you make a long pencil-type shape of the graphite, drill a hole through the middle, and put some wood in the middle. You've got a wooden core on the inside and the pencil lead on the outside. You might have to cover it with a lacquer, otherwise your fingers would get dirty to doing it. But an interesting idea, an inverted or upside-down, or actually an in, in inside-out pencil something to think about. Anyone who makes it, I'd be happy to buy one, but mm, not for £2,000. Mm, a bit much. <laughs> <laughs>